hole yawns back at you, impossibly wide. A single tentacle burrowed through stone. You don't actually want to jump, do you? to the source of the infections. to the source of the Absolute now. That telepathic storm has become a tempest. The stench. I wonder how many pilgrimages to Moonrise ended down here. his eyes. His mind has been hollowed out to better echo the commands of the Collective. You could kill it, end its miserable life of enslavement. Surely that would be the humane thing to do. You could take advantage of its vulnerability and plunder what's left of its hollow mind for anything that could serve you. Blind as well-worn boots, his mind turns to his work. Chop, cut, sort, shiver of impact, crack of bone. He removes the brains, digs free the squirming tadpoles. The unworthy one is given over to the illithids to become. Part of one mind. Four little feet dancing to say so. With a lurch, you realize he means the intellect devourers. Here, the brains are harvested made part of the hive mind. No, sorry. Here, they become. Chop, chop. Help them. Become. Master. Down the one of three. One. Kill it. You could take advantage of its vulnerability and plunder what's left. Yes. An offering from Moonrise Towers. His lake of blood again. He's even bigger up close. players and civilians side by side this must be where they infect and transform those they kidnap your tadpole forms a telepathic connection with the device and a chorus of static energy fills your mind. Every mind flayer in the room calls out hungrily from its pod, seeking release and sustenance. But there are others in the pods, those not yet infected, not yet a lithid, terrified, desperate to escape. The device is open to your tadpole's command, to your authority.
That pot. But empty of tadpoles. Is that Nazora inside? Unusual. Harvesting all the larvae indicate. Why, Grazit's cock, it's about time you came. Thought you'd have figured it out by now. Now, enough sniffing around and get me out of this thing. Do it, and I'll let Will off his leash. A devil always keeps her promises. Your eyes turn to the control panel next to the pod. It has two devices marked with a lithid symbols. The controls are open to your tadpole's command. To your authority. The symbol's meaning comes into focus. Annihilate. You decipher the symbol. It's an illithid sigil, meaning unleash. work. I'd give you a gold star, but I'm fresh out. As for the pact... <coughs> Clause said, section 13. If the soul binder consents to separation, she will release the soul bearer from all obligation within six months. Oh, six months is a trifle. We barely read through a single bookcase in Candlekeep in such a time. Ignorant thing. It's always the terms and conditions that get you. Dead serious. Don't let the smile fool you. Right. I'm out of here. I need a long bath. I'll leave you to your very serious business. But don't you fret. If you survive this place, I'll find you. The pup will be needing me. Count on it. Oh, and ask Will how we met. I've loosened his tongue. It's real cracker of a tale. <laughs> Ta-ta. Ashes. Balthazar let one of his walking carcasses lapse from his control. Let's ferry them back. Wait! By the poor lord. It's you! I thought I'd never see you again. I wanted to keep you for myself. But they shipped you away. to be here, special one. That's not right. But I don't want to damage you. You were my very first, after all. I learned everything about the parasites from you. I remember finding you close to death. Beaten black and blue on the floor of this sanctum. It must have been a few hours after the tadpole was placed in your skull. How you got here was a total mystery. But I stitched you up just enough to keep you alive. 
then placed you within your crib. I kept you as mine, until you were needed by our superiors. We had such a close bond. I opened you up endlessly with my scalpels, and got lost in your insides. I was not behind it. I do not know. But whoever did it, I'm so glad they left you here for me. Truthfully, I'm not surprised to see you found your way back here all by yourself. I always knew you were clever. It has never been the same with another. All the other victims who come here just meekly obey. You thrashed. You fought. You were indomitable. But as special as you are, you shouldn't be swanning around here, acting as if free will is yours again. We're going to kill you, sweet one. But I promise I will stay with you afterwards. Lashes, bring this one back to my table. And prepare my knives for a long night of experiment. you together after whatever caused your head to get in this mess someone else must have attacked you in the midst of whatever you were doing down here this necromancer was a grunt in the scheme of the horrors enacted against you that attacker is the source of all these membranes there was a dagger awaiting you all along but from who Still breathing, despite everything. into life a mind touches your own alien and full of desperate need but 
fragmented, too. It is incomplete. It yearns to connect, but needs you to guide the process, linking each part of your mind to its light. step forward. tadpole echoes not with presence but memory tinged with loss the grand design order unity every lane as one every being in their place that loss blooms into a sudden fury burying claws in your mind Just as suddenly, pain and memory are gone, leaving only stone once more. The grand design. Empty vessel, nothing more. Lending voice to Elder Law. If not over, then through. The platform is already here. Is anyone else's tadpole squirming around a lot more than usual? It's almost like it's excited by something, drawn to it. Give it a 
shot. No longer a background murmur. The presence in your mind builds to a roar. We found it. The Absolute is behind this door. 